Welcome back to another weekly episode of the Starting Five Podcast. I'm here with Jake and your host, myself, Caesar, And this is our very first soccer episode. Uh, we've had a little bit of difficulty. We're trying to do this uh, episode of when the World Cup uh, tournament was going on. But right now, when it is being recorded, the World Cup final has ended. The pro- I think me and Jake can agree, and probably the entire world can agree, that is probably the greatest World Cup final that has been played in recent memory. The amount of uh, the atmosphere that was ro- revolving around that game. Sorry, guys. Caesar's mic. I'm is tweaking. He's my tweaking mic, like my mic is tweaking. But I was trying to say, hopefully you guys did get to hear. If not, I'm going to repeat it. The, the amount of the atmosphere that was revolving around that game, the intensity, the amount of pressure that was around that game was like no other. It was probably the next up GOAT in Kylian Mbappe being at age 23, possibly get, it will, having the chance of going back-to-back with France and the 35-year-old GOAT. Now you can say he is the GOAT since he has completed football in Lionel Messi and his Argentina. Um Messi finally got his trophy. He finally got the 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 accolade that everyone in the world was he debating. He finally got the throne. He finally got it. The the thing that 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 stood in between him and Ronaldo to be classified as the one and one goat. Finally, Messi has gotten it. I'm a Ronaldo fan. I'll admit it. I am not very happy that he got it, but I got to give the guy his respect. He is the goat. There's really nothing for me to to say or to argue anymore. I don't know about you. What's your goat? Who's your goat? Well, who would have been your goat before the game? Listen, started if, and actually gave us the the. I'm I'm kind of with Caesar. Uh, I love Ronaldo. Ronaldo's my guy, but you can't take away the fact what Messi has done. Uh, like Messi is the goat. I mean, mm-hmm. like I even said it too. Whoever would win the the World Cup, the World Cup. I mean, undisputed. like, yeah, you're undisputed. I mean, you have every single accolade in the book, you know, yeah. and that's something Messi has over over Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I I hate to say it because I love Ronaldo, and like, you know, I love Ronaldo. I would say Ronaldo is my goat, but I mean, mm-hmm. you can't discredit Messi. You know, like everyone was saying, uh, whoever wins the World Cup is the goat. I mean, yeah. you got to give props and credit where credits due. And keep in mind, I love Messi too, but like. Ever since I've been watching soccer, it's always I always have my eyes on Ronaldo. But I mean, you got to give a huge shout out to Messi and whatever he's done in his career. So, I mean, Messi is the the goat of football. Hey, and to be the best, you got to beat the best and you got to play your best at the at the highest stage. And the game that he 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 gave us on Sunday morning here in the United States at 10 a.m. It was a spectacular. It was a masterclass. The I best mean, game I've probably ever seen live on my two eyes. Oh, for sure. I mean, he he nailed the the PK that put Argentina 1-0, and then um, he started that play that got to Di Maria, uh, scoring a second goal and having Argentina up 2-0. Majority of the game until, you know, obviously um, Argentina gave uh, gave France a PK and then killing Mbappe. Uh, a goat in himself, well, Possibly starting, making, yeah. start starting his journey and probably being in that goat discussion, because uh, like I said at the beginning, he is twenty three years old and and he's already he was already in a back to back final, um, had the chance to win back to back for France, uh, and he basically he 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 realistically put the France, France team on his back, put his whole country on his back. Yeah, dude. because was France wild. was injured; they were extremely injured. I mean. And if you really, if you want to think about it, I mean, you don't want to knock Messi or or Argentina, but if France was fully healthy, I think that game is completely different because they don't have Conte, they don't have Pogba, and then they have Benzema. Um, Giroud wasn't playing at his best. Uh, no, Griezmann hey. wasn't playing at his best. No, Griezmann was playing hundred percent at his best, bro. Not necessarily because you can't say that. You, no, if no, he was, you and I can no, argue about this. No, he wasn't because if yes, you really think about it, if it, if he was, he wouldn't have been subbed out at forty at the forty one minute, bro. Him and Giroud were not doing the best. They weren't no, really. It wasn't, they weren't. it wasn't Griezmann. It was a uh, Dembele. The Dembele. Oh yeah, that is true. But, but no, I'm talking about okay. But Griezmann wasn't doing enough. He wasn't doing enough because Griezmann is the type of player you keep in there because you're going to need him in the PKs if it goes to PKs, which it did, and they didn't have him in there because he wasn't playing his best. Debele, oh, what's I, another? that's another player, too. He got subbed out. I mean, yeah, okay, like you brought it up. I tweaked. It was Dembele and uh, Giroud, but those two players, quickest, 
the, that's the quickest substitutions in a World Cup final at the 41 yeah, I minute. Mean, yeah, I agree. That was poor. But uh, to get back to on the Benzema thing, you know, uh, he was he was cleared to play. Yes. But uh, the Shams didn't play him. And now uh, Benzema's retired from the international mm-hmm. football. You know that now? Yeah. That's wild. But also I heard uh, as well that he actually declined as well. Because oh, I no, think I if that. you really think about it and his explanation, not not it wasn't his explanation, but I went to Twitter and I looked at the uh, comments on the on the post that I saw where supposedly he did he declined as well doing it respectfully was where like they get it because I saw a comment where it says I get it I under completely understand now back him on his decision if it is is truly his decision on not playing because if you really look at it let's say France wins he will be. He there, you know there's people in debates and stuff like that. We people will bash him like, oh, you can't you can't count that World Cup uh, uh, win towards Benzema's career because he only played the final. It didn't really matter. He didn't help the team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though it really wasn't his fault because he did have an injury right before the World Cup even started. So like, I mean, it, like it was kind of like, I mean, yeah, dude. Imagine that, like, 23 years old, dude. You won two <laughs> World Cups. Yeah, like for Mbappe, yeah. Yeah, look crazy. at Messi for an example. Messi is thirty five years old and he just now won his first. Yeah, you're twenty three years old and you won two already, mm-hmm. dude. That would have been it. Would have so been nuts. Freaking wild. It would have been, been insane. I mean, he did everything he could too. I mean, like I said, like I was saying, he got the first PK, and then not even ninety seconds later, wait, yeah, Coleman, volley, Coleman from 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 Bundesliga for Bayern Munich, dude comes just, in. Takes the ball from Messi. He literally yeah. took the ball from Messi. Turns around, uh, switches the field to Mbappe's side, and then he Mbappe goes in with the volley and then back yeah. of the net scores. Dude, I, I forget who uh, who leaped it over. Uh, I, I forget who it was, but man, what uh, I can't remember their name either. But what yeah, a pa- uh, I nah, think it, was, it was it was a good pass. I think it was uh, Tui Mali or something. I'm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say names, but like it was a right yeah. over Kylian Kill- Mbappe, dude. Volley. Dude, low ground gravity in a yeah. like lower right hand corner. You have to get around the keeper. What a strike! But let's talk about that the whole match, man. Yeah, I was Arge- gonna get to Argentina that. came out swinging. I mean, they controlled the majority of the game. Yeah, the first 60, 65 minutes was Ar- everyone all was saying Argentina. like it's over, a game over. Yeah, like you know? the, the first half, man. Like Argentina, they were winning. I can't really say the first half. For like the first 60, 65 minutes, Argentina was winning every. F- Every, every 50 50 balls, no, every everything. 50 ball, the second ball, the first ball. Like, they were controlling the game, bro. Dude, their defense was playing well. They're mm-hmm. attacking, they were connected passes. They're one, the yeah. one, two is their counter attacking as well. And yeah. what really won them the game is, I mean, of, they took France's midfield out the game the first half. Like, yeah. they were in shambles. You could tell, like, Argentina's they couldn't get the midfield. ball up the field. Yeah, Argentina's midfield was. Like, the Ireland, they were close. And, like, oh, when it was time to go, they hit you on a counterattack. Mm-hmm. And, they, and prime example, what they do, they hit the counterattack. And, you have They took advantage. Yeah, and Di, Di Maria scored a goal leading Argentina up 2-0. Mm-hmm. Like I said, like we said earlier, that was probably, pr- probably, that was the greatest game i ever seen live wa- watching on my own two eyes. Well, yeah, obviously. Twice. And then the, the, the extra time, the both periods were a game of itself. I mean, in the first extra um, extra period of time, uh, Messi had a shot um, towards the end of it of the first period where um, Yoris blocks it. It was the top of the it was top of the eighteen, and Messi just f- shoots a rocket. And Yoris, thankfully, he uh, that reacted. wasn't uh, that wasn't an over that was like the ninety fifth minute. That no, was like, it was, that it was, was in the overtime, bro. I promise you, it wasn't. I, I swear to God, cause I swear to God, it wasn't because they were in extra time. And they Messi got the ball at, like at the D and banged it. I sw- I promise you. And I promise you it wasn't. I think I was. Um, I'm like 110 percent positive. It was I'll bank like my extra. bank account. It wasn't an overtime. All right, I'll take that. We'll look it over. We'll take that over. I'm gonna give you my foot because I don't want to act over. Exactly. You're not confident. No, I am confident. Oh, uh, when Messi, uh, uh, it was almost the game was the game was almost over. Look over. up, look up, uh, look up the game. Like watch look, the game from like the ninety fifth minute. No, ninetieth minute. From awesome. On. Look this up. Messi, uh, top eighteen shot, World Cup final. But like, world, put put Messi World Cup shots, uh, World Cup final Messi shots, and then it'll be it'll be look at the time period and where he's at. He's at the top of the eighteen. He he shoots a rocket for with his left foot, and Yoris, uh, uh, hits it up above the crossbar. That's what it is, and then we'll keep going. Yeah. And for you, if you, you guys can't hear him, it's um, it's Austin. 
He's producing our episode for today. Uh, but going back Shout to it, Ross. and then we'll keep talking. No, we'll keep talking while he's looking it up. Yeah, no. Um, like I said, bro, the extra period of time, both periods were a game in itself. I mean, dude, it was two two, and then it ended up being three three. Uh, Messi, Messi scores that. That um, well, who was it that took the shot first? Who who because someone uh, because Yoris yeah. blocked someone. I can't remember I, who it was. I, I I could be wrong, but I know I know Fernandez made the run, but I don't know if they played it back to him and he shot it. And it's it, someone, and, yeah, and it maybe was Fernandez. Yoris blocks it, and then Messi and then was Messi right there. The he, in, yeah. he taps it in goal, right? And there was controversy at first because they were like not really controversy. It was just that the rest were checking. Uh, yeah. Var was checking to make sure that um, that Fernandez, um, Fernandez or Messi. I can't remember who it was. It was Fernandez. Fernandez wasn't off sides, and unfortunately he wasn't. Um, so the the goal counts. So it goes to three two, and then That's like an the, Argentinian what, player, like one hundred ninth minute or something. Yeah, like. it was somewhere around there. And now, yeah, because it was, I was like, bro, they still got ten minutes to equalize it, right? And exactly what happened? They go, they create a shot, they create havoc in the in uh, Argentina's box, and then I think it was uh, Mbappe who kicks the ball, and an Argentinian defender hit uh, accidentally yeah. hits it with his arm. Yeah, I don't. That was like the one hundred seventeenth minute. Yeah. And then Mbappe scores his, his hat trick. You know he hits he scores his hat trick to send the game into all the way to PKs, and that's what it, that's where it goes to. And unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, France doesn't make all of their shots because they are all subs basically. Um, even though I mean France is a top class, they're they're yeah. a juggernaut. They yeah, should be dude. making their shots, but unfortunately, the, I just think the moment was too big for them. Essentially, uh, Mbappe's and, bro. Sorry, go ahead. Mm-hmm. And I was just gonna say in Argentina, they didn't miss a single shot. Yuris yeah. wasn't able to. Yuris wasn't able to stop at all. And he used to be, bro. He used to hey, be the goat of PKs, bro. That's a Tottenham goalkeeper, dude. Exactly. Arsenal can't relate. He was Arsenal's backup for a while, so hey, we taught him well. But Mbappe, dude, imagine like what, what's really wild is though. Mm-hmm. This is about to contradict what I well, what I just said, but well, mm-hmm. uh, Mbappe he scored three penalties, including the two in live and the. Uh, in the penalty shootout, he, he's he made three penalties. You know how hard it is to make three penalties against the same goalkeeper going the same way three mm-hmm. freaking times. Yeah. Incredible by him, man. Yeah, incredible. No, it definitely does because like because it, it's supposed to go to his head. I mean, like look, Tukamendi, what Martinez does, he grabs the ball, starts walking around, starts shit talking, and he throws it, throws it to the right, right, and he starts laughing. Yeah. Com- yeah, he starts laughing. <laughs> Tukamendi starts laughing too, and he grabs it. To come in, he shoot, he's trying to be like, all right, bro, you want to throw it to the right? I'm going to kick it to the right. Martinez was expecting the same outcome. To come in, he just hits it too hard and just shanks it. It goes all the way to the right. And what does Martinez does? Just laughs him, laughs at him and gives him a, a whole dance with the shoulder shrugs. And he's dude, such a shrug. It just troll, went to, yeah, it goes to your head. I mean, like every everything matters. Like every aspect matters. Were you able to find it, Austin? We're, we're all, I found it. We're all asking No, I know it was messy. We what both know it was, was it? what was minute it, was uh, it? Extra time or was it still... And then, really, dude, I could have sworn I could have I could have sworn it was in the in don't the, play me, bro. I know the, I, I know I be. Well, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Ninety five minute with plus eight, or was it ninety five ninety five minute? Because because you know ninety six plus eight. Okay, okay. Because you know when it's extra time, yeah. it starts at ninety. 90 so yeah. so yeah, chill out. That's Pop why off. I had to make sure. All right, all right then good Pop shit. Off. All right. I know what I'll be talking about, bro. But no, that final was crazy, bro. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, and from from start to finish, that was an absolute insane match. Cuz after every goal, I mean, dude, the crazy thing is too, the team that won the World Cup lost the very first game against Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Too. Yeah. That's, like you could just tell like how much like Argentina, like, bro, they, yeah, all the players the and they're so young. Argentina too, really man. wanted it. Argentina Messi's wanted it. Like the, the oldest, one of the oldest one. ones. Mm-hmm. Messi and Di Maria are both like thirty five, and it's mm-hmm. just youth. Yeah, dude. I tell you what, uh, Enzo Hernandez, uh, Julian Alvarez, dude, they're gonna go to the prem, and their price tag is gonna be. Oh, for sure. They're gonna be freaking for sure. For sure. They're oh man, that's crazy. No, it is crazy, but. I mean, I we already talked a bit about the big part of it, the 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 main thing about the World Cup, especially at this point. But I want to do a small recap over the World Cup and the the team that I think that deserves a lot of props and a lot of respect, and um, and give them their flowers is Morocco. You do know that they're the first African team to ever reach the quarterfinal, bro. Yeah, incredible. That is incredible. crazy, dude. The path that they went through, the teams that they knocked out. Belgium, it's, Germany, 
Portugal, Spain, right? and Spain. Did they knock out Portugal? Yeah, they knocked out Portugal mm-hmm. too. Spain. Was it a? Be- I know it was Spain, Germany, Portugal. Was was Belgium in there too? Did they knock I, out? Belgium I, I, as I believe well? Belgium was in that group. Group. Dude, yeah. That's I can't just, remember right now, but yeah, freaking I just know that Morocco went on a an entire run, and they and they ended up getting into the corner final. It was craziest too. Is like they had players, uh, Ziyech, and not even just the quarter final. They got to the semis. Yeah, like Ziyech, man, mm-hmm. like he retired from international football back in mm-hmm. February because of the old manager. The manager mm-hmm. they just brought in, he just got hired like last year. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Uh, Akimi, he had Akimi, yeah, the right back. Yeah, and uh, their CDM number four. I don't know his name. The ball dude, he's gonna have, a, he's gonna get a good old price tag too, man. Yeah. He had a hell. He's probably in, no cap. He's probably in my uh, World Cup, uh, team of the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Like he had a great World Cup. Mm-hmm. It was just unbelievable. Like you watch him, like watch the big games. He man, like he was following everybody. Like, I remember. Uh, no, I don't. Well, Morocco is definitely that team where. Where they say they capitalize on on the counterattacks because they, they, m- most, give, up a, they mo- didn't give up a one goal like, a, like uh, an open play. Yeah, except until for, uh, Portugal. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those. It was like late, late yeah. in the tournament. Yeah. They went the majority tournament. of the tournament without allowing a goal in open in open play, which is that's crazy to do, especially in that in the tournament like and on Cup, the stage man. that they were playing at. And you played Spain, mm-hmm. like you didn't let Spain give up a, like a freaking goal in open play. Yeah, or Germany. Yeah. That's just madness. No, it is crazy. Freaking manager too. <laughs> I seen this on Twitter. He uh, attended Mikel Arteta. If you don't know, mm-hmm. uh, he's Arsenal's manager. But he attended uh, his tactics, his tactics session on mm-hmm. Zoom, and it's just crazy. Like, what? Like, how much he learned from Arteta, or like. So, so since you're an Arsenal fan, are you saying that you were able to see, like, some of uh, um, Arteta's tactics? Uh, yeah, I game seen plans? his tactics, and like, it came out too, mm-hmm. uh, pub public wise. Like, mm-hmm. like he was on a Zoom with Mikel Arteta mm-hmm. and so many other like coaches and managers mm-hmm. around the league joining his uh t- mm-hmm. tactic class or session. Mm-hmm. It, it was pretty because what Mikel does, it was like similar to uh, Morocco. Does. Uh, Arsenal, we, we play out the back, mm-hmm. and we play we we string pass together. We do one twos, and we hit you on a counter attack. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that is what Morocco did. And that's what Morocco, Morocco. If you looked at majority of their games, they had they had they sat in like a shell. They didn't really have any possession at all, like percentage wise. Yeah. Majority, I think I think one of them they had probably they were like the twenty twenty five. They were yeah. second least team to have the. Um, but look at where they ended up, like you said, because of counter attacks. Semi finals. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Wild. So. It's crazy. I just wanted to give them their flowers because it is insane. And um, France, too. But we already talked about them. What other team do you think that you can want to talk about real quick? I mean, this trying case, to think. This going to sound dumb because this team didn't make it out around on 16. But, I mean, you got to shut the United States. I mean. Don't even start, bro. I mean, it, I mean you can because, like. Nah, because you start about them. I got to start about Mexico. Nah, shut up. No one cares about them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I said that, and because uh, last World Cup, they didn't even make it. They didn't even make to, it. To make it to the World Cup and get it out the round of 32 to advance to round 16, I mean, it's pretty good. And play Netherlands. Yeah, we lost 2-1, I believe. Yeah, it was. 2-1. And, like, the, I mean, in the first in that game, we fought back. It was just. We just had, they have we were just Netherlands so just had experience we didn't have over experience, you guys, so yeah. that, that hurt us. But like, yeah, that's another team, United States. Yeah. All right. Well, one last shout out. Congrats to Messi. You finally completed football. You actually completed it. You have every trophy that an individual an individual player can win, and a player can win with his team, international wise and club wise. You've won it all. Um, you deserve it. You've earned and deserved the the crown and the title as the undisputed goat of football. As much as it hurts me to say it, but it is true. Um, to me, CR7 is still my goat, but you are the goat. And did you actually see that he's still continuing to play with Argentina? He's not going to retire. He he said he wants to play with Argentina as yeah. a champion. Yeah. I so mean, that'll be hard. Well, that'll probably be like another know. one one or two years. So it'll yeah. be smooth. Um What's crazy is that he has to. He's gonna. He's gonna be able to take that back to PSG, present it in, in front, front of France, Mbappe. in front of Mbappe. That's gonna be. That's that's troll. That is troll. Yeah. That is crazy. 
That's gonna be crazy, but it'll be funny to watch. Um, Bob basically, like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, no, hey, shout out to you guys, uh, Argentina. Shout out, uh, congrats on the win, uh, France, and Mbappe. Um, shout out to you guys as well for an amazing match. Thank you for the amazing match that both teams and both players were able to grant us. Um, you guys both deserve what you guys got in this tournament. The spotlight you guys were in, uh, it was phenomenal. Um, but with that being said, that wraps up World Cup for us. We're going to move on to our last topic, which is Boxing Day, December 26th, after Christmas. It's um, Prem is finally back. Uh, league play is finally back. I know. Come I think on, you got it. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think La Liga is back a couple days after that. So basically any, basically every league. Pretty much league football is back. League football is back. Champions League football will be back uh, somewhere in February. I think I was told February 16th. Sorry. Uh, February 16th, I think, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, or 26th. Hey, so, somewhere 26. around there. Somewhere around That's there. That's me and Austin's birthday. No one cares, Jake. But moving on, saying no. Hey, <coughs> this is why. This is why I'm two and zero against you in a fight in, in wrestling. No. In wrestling. <coughs> so, so, hey, don't smoke cigarettes, kids. <coughs> Damn, my bad, bro. Hey, chime in, help me out, bro. You see, oh, you're I couldn't coughing. talk anyway. Continue to say something, pick it up. up like you know what we talking about, pick it up. Like, you hey, yo, Caesar's over, over here. You can be like, Caesar's over here tweaking, and like, hey, I'll carry over while he's over here dealing with his shit. But you know, I'm better. I'm back. I'm good. Anyways, like I was Boston saying, Boston is back. December 26th, the day after Christmas, Monday, and the reason why they call it Boxing Day, I looked it up, is okay. because uh, when. Queen Elizabeth was the queen. Uh, they gave she had like a throne. It was like a tradition of uh, celebrities and families, and they gave back to the poor. Oh, so the rich gave back to the poor. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, because I never understood why. But I don't it was understand like, why it's called. Like, yeah, I never, I never, I never understood it, and I never actually like looked into it. But thank you for looking that, looked at it, looking into that for me, Drake. But yeah, hey, it says why is boxing day called Boxing Day because. Uh, Queen Victoria held the throne in 1800s and is born out of the tr- tradition of wealthy families boxing up gifts to give to the poor. Oh, that's why it's called Boxing Day because they boxed up gifts, bro. Come yeah. on. It's right there in the description, buddy. Well, I just skimmed through it. I just seen giving oh, back Jay, gifts to the poor. Here, bro. Shut up, bro. Just like anyway, my, my, mic so, can, my mic stand is tweaking. Yeah, facts. Uh, boxing Day is back. <coughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to wake up at 7 a.m. and watch all... The Brentford game and the Tottenham. I'm going to watch all the games, dude. I love soccer, man. Anyways, uh, there, there's a lot of great games on. I'm going to pick yeah. out I'm gonna pick out a couple of that. I'm going to be intrigued to watch. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Arsenal versus West Ham because Arsenal's my team. We're five points clear at the top of the table right now. We're, we're big dogs, and we're ready to eat some more. Yeah. Chelsea ain't good. Liverpool ain't good. Tottenham ain't good. Man City's good, but they're not better than Bro's us. going on a whole rant. Anyways. Anyways, uh, like get no get to specifics. Get to specifics. Sorry. Oh, All right. But. So you guys play against West Ham, right? First day back. Yeah. Like actually after the World Cup. Yeah, and I'm kinda like One intru- quick question. Specific before you keep going. I already know what you're gonna bring up, but I wanna uh, oh, it's going to literally lead into what you're going to talk about because uh-huh. you already told me you're going to talk about the, yeah, the specific okay. person, the specific uh, specific yeah. situation. All right. About. So my question to you is, do you that has Michael Arteta or any other like Mikel. team, Mikel, Mikel oh, Arteta bro. or any any other team specifically come out and said what they're going to do to their star players that are coming from World Cup uh, tournament? Are they going to sit them or are they going to require them to play the first day back, well, which is the 26th? Well, uh, I mean, what kind of helps um, us, Arsenal, is, I mean, all our – Starting eleven players. Mm-hmm. I mean, they got eliminated not early, too early. Like Granite Jack, he got early in round sixteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron Ramsdale, uh, Bayoksaka, and Ben White. They played for uh, England, but Ben White left camp early. Mm-hmm. Or left uh, England early, like super early. So he had it. He went on holiday for a couple of days. He got his rest. He's back with the squad. He mm-hmm. he just played the friendlies. Um, Saka, he's not. Uh, Saka Martinelli. Uh, or I just said a thing on Twitter that he, they said Marte, uh, Martinelli, he's in the building. He's going to uh, be in training. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saka, he's going to be in training too, so they're probably going to play. Mm-hmm. But, like, Ramsdale, he was, like, the number two goalkeeper. So he mm-hmm. didn't get playing time. So that kind of helped us too because he didn't, didn't – no chance on our injury, so he's going to play. Mm-hmm. And he's already playing. He's already been training with us. Mm-hmm. Martinelli, I say he's going to be playing with us. Granit Xhaka, Thomas Partey. 
uh, they're in training and playing the friendlies with us. So, so basically, like, your our entire team, team is you're 100% solid. stacked except for our striker, Jesus, which I'm about to lead into now. Yeah, good. I'm kind of intrigued to watch this game and see how uh, any Katia steps up and plays until at least February. Mm-hmm. Because Jesus, yes, he doesn't have a lot of a lot of many goals, but what he does, it's like it doesn't come up on the stat sheet, you know? Mm-hmm. He like, he attacks. He chases down ball. He puts pre- he puts pressure on the, on the <coughs> defense, the goalkeeper. Uh, Jesus, like, he hustled. He's, like, a high-maintenance player. Mm-hmm. So, and, and in Ketia, he does the same thing, but it's, like, he, he just doesn't play that much. Mm-hmm. But he did get to play. He's starting to play more and more and more, which is good. And he's mm-hmm. young, too. So, like, I'm, I'm excited to see where he's coming from. Mm-hmm. So, that, I, I can't wait to see how we sh- pan out. Mm-hmm. But we do need another winger, man. We do need another winger. We need depth on the wing. We need to go get Mudri- Mudrick from uh, Shakhtar. But they're f- asking him for 100 mil for him, which is kind of eh. Well, you better hope that. that Who was it again? What's his name? Because I don't want to butcher his name. Who are you talking about? Who? Um, Your other striker. Uh, Enketia? Enketia? Ed- uh, Eddie Enketia. Uh, Enketia. En- en- Ket- I don't call him Eddie. Huh? All right, Eddie. <laughs> no, Eddie Eddie Enketia. Eddie, don't tweak, bro. Because like you say, you guys are only five points clear, and you got Man City and Newcastle right behind you. Yeah. I had to freshen up. I got to look at these tables because I can't, I can't remember them right now. And uh, that's I completely forgot about them ever since the World Cup yeah, started. And, and they were a part of the teams I was going to like pick out, too. So, obviously, the main one is Arsenal. We'll see how we come out. But I'm excited to watch uh, Leicester City and Newcastle because, like Caesar said, Newcastle is third uh, in the prime right now. They're probably the, the they are the richest club right now in football in, in the world. Yeah, uh, so I'd like to see how that's gonna pan out. Um, and I'll probably say Leeds United and Man City. And I say this because Leeds United, they're a trap game for everybody. Mm-hmm. Is, is it at Ellen Road? Is it, if it's at Ellen Road, that could be a huge trap game. What game are you talking about? Uh, it is at Ellen Road. Uh, Ellen Road is where Leeds United's play, but Ellen Road probably has the one of the best atmospheres in the Prem. And Man City's going there. Their first day is back. So that's going to be exciting. And Leeds United, they uh, they beat Chelsea. <coughs> Aws. Uh, they beat Liverpool. They uh, We beat them at mm-hmm. Ellen Road 1-0. And, that, and that's mm-hmm. tough. Ellen, like, Leeds United, I love watching. They're probably, like, one of my second favorite teams watching. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. I love watching <coughs> them play because... Everyone looks over them, and they're just like a hard, gritty team. So those are my three games to watch. I'm just so excited. I want to watch the Aston Villa versus Liverpool as well. I want to see how Liverpool's doing right now. And they're shitting the bed. Yeah, I, th- I think they are. Um, well, yeah, they are. Because well, hold on, let me see their standings. They're, they're like, sixth. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see where where's we're Chelsea at. They're and United, even with all the with all the turmoil that's going on over there with Cristiano Ronaldo not being there anymore, being terminated, uh, and them struggling with the with the with um um what's his name bro I don't want to it's Turhan right Tanhang Tanhan <laughs> Tanhan Tan whatever Tanhang Tanhang yeah Eric they're still at five yeah fact. which is crazy but we'll see um Chelsea's nowhere to be found oh wait they're at eight I only say that because you know also over here loves uh, loves Chelsea loves him loves himself some full sick uh, where do you think he goes. No cap. I'm gonna say this completely honest with you. Mm-hmm. Either Man U or Arsenal. Really? Yeah, because both clubs are need a winger. Mm-hmm. You need a winger. Pulisic, <coughs> he fits our kind of style of play. Um, and he needs some playing time. Yeah, and, and obviously he showed in the World Cup. He's that guy because he uh, he advanced. He helped us advance to be Ira- Iran. Mm-hmm. He uh, was, Iran. Yeah. Say their name right. They Shut got up. mad. They got care. they got mad last time. I'm I don't just care. Saying. Iran, I- Iran. Yo, if you see like if it sounds weird from a certain point, it's because we had a little technical difficulty audio wise and we fixed it. So you guys won't see it visually at all. You just hear me like obviously and looking at me like explaining to you real quick. So with that being said, Jake, you're going on a little and a little supportive rant for Pulisic. They're talking about how his performance was was the reason you guys were, you guys beat um, Iran and then were actually able to come back against the Netherlands. Yeah, and that'd be a player that you would like to go join Arsenal, correct? Yeah. All right. So now that I'm in on a loan. Now that I brought that up, what other position? What other position do you think Arsenal really needs? Like that you would like to go f- um, for them to go see and get in the winter uh, transfer 
transfer window. Uh, so I already said a winger. Uh, we can <coughs> midfield man. Or like our, we have a good starting midfield, but our midfield is just weak. Like what like midfielder? Wise. What midfielder would you want uh, Arsenal to go? Well, Arteta to go get. I mean, there's a couple. I mean, you can go get. Uh, Give me your top two. Uh, uh Danilo mm-hmm. from uh, I don't know how to say this. Say the uh, the club's name. Uh, Palmeiras or P A L M I E R A S or something like that. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, Palmeiras I don't know. I don't know or, or, uh, or something, whatever like that. Uh-huh. One of them we can go get uh, Yuri Telemans from Leicester City. Uh-huh. And, I say, and I say that because he's a free agent. Bro, but he's always been in the rumors about being <clears throat> about trans- transferring and moving, but he's never actually yeah, moved. Yeah, I mean, dude, we've been heavy linked with him for the past two years, so I'd be shocked if he goes somewhere else. But the thing mm-hmm. is, like, too, like, why sign him in the January transfer when he's going to be a free agent in six months? But mm-hmm. if we are going to sign him, let's sign him, like, because Lester wants something in return. Let's sign him for, like, 20 mil, 20, 25 mm-hmm. mil. I would say go get him now because, I mean, look, look, right now, yeah, right now you guys are only four, five points cleared. Are you guys even in the? If I'm not too kidding, are you guys even in the Champions League right now? Or no, 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 right. We're just in Europa League. So you, League. yeah, you guys want you guys want to solidify your your spot for Champions League next year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you guys are obviously gonna want the Premier League title. So yeah, he is a good midfielder. He is an ex- outstanding midfielder for, for especially for the team he plays for. Yeah, uh, and he yeah. could do he could do wonders for you guys. My three players, <clears throat> uh, you can I guess you could say four. Mm-hmm. Pulisic, I mean, I don't, I don't really. Yes, I want him, but if we don't get him, it's not a. Oh man, we missed out on him. Mm-hmm. So I'm not. I'm not going to add him in this list. But uh, Mud Mudrik, he he plays for Shakhtar, mm-hmm. uh, in in the uh, Turkish league. Uh, he's a winger, so he can help us. Mm-hmm. Um, Mudrik, like I just said, uh, Danilo, mm-hmm. he's a uh, he's a midfielder, and Telemans, mm-hmm. uh, okay. Telemans, Yuri Telemans. So right. those are my three go go getters. All right, well, my favorite team, because we, I mean, you guys don't know it, used to be Man U, because I, you, I'm the type of player wherever Ronaldo goes, I go. Um, besides La Liga, because I am a Real Madrid fan. A la Madrid. A la Madrid. A la Madrid. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm pretty much open for for uh, for any other league. So right now, since since Ronaldo fi- uh, finally left Man U, I am back as a Man City fan. Yes. Now you can call me a bandwagon. You call you call me a troll. You call troll, call me a traitor. I don't get. I don't give a damn. I'm a Man City fan, and right now we got Holland. We don't need anyone else. I'm chilling. All right, we're second in. We're second in the league. All right, we're second five, in the league. Hey, five. Who's yeah. five points ahead of you? Y'all, y'all. Yeah. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you some respect. Uh, you give, I'll get, hey, I went. Hey, yeah. Think about it though. I went from five to two, so I'm chilling. I'm happy right now. All right, I'll take what I can get. But right now you don't got Gabriel Jesus, my, my boy. So. You better watch out. Holland's gonna come back. Holland's gonna Holland's gonna come back finally from his long, 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 long break that he needed. He can come back, and he's gonna score twenty and get us them five points plus more, my boy. Yeah, all right. Okay, you guys can get your five points. We're gonna get twenty more. What's up? No, not with we Gabriel. Winning, not without. Bro. Not without Gabriel. Nah, bro. <laughs> my boy. Not without uh, Gabriel. I believe. I believe in Eddie and Kete. All right, bro. But hey, but hey, please, please, I start watching some a little bit of La Liga. A little bit of League One, so we can start talking about them leagues. Because I really want to talk about Real Madrid. We can't talk about no, a lot of them besides yeah. Champions League. We can talk about Madrid. Not right hey, now. Really uh, they just signed. Uh, I guarantee you, you don't even know this. The Wonder Kid. Yeah, the Wonder uh, Kid from. Uh, dude, I don't know how to say his name, bro. Uh, Andrick. Is it Andrick? I don't Andrick. know. How to, I, I really and don't. Guess where he's coming from. I can't remember, bro. The club where Danilo is from, the Palmeiras club, or whatever. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know how to. Say I it, I dude. don't know how to say his name. That's why I don't want to like. Say I call it Andrick. I Andrick? call him Andrick. Yeah, no, we just signed a wonder kid. Uh, hold on, let me see. Because now that you brought him up, I really want to talk about. It. I it's right really here. Say his name. Bang! You're welcome. Hold on, bro. I'm about to pull up. I'm about to pull up. Why? Right there, that club, Palmeiras or Palmeiras. Sorry, I don't know. How he to is Brazilian. It. Hold on. Oh, Palmeiras, bro. Exactly. Pal Palmeiras, Palmeiras. Hold on, bro. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. I don't know if it's Palmeiras. I don't know. But yeah, I dude, I did see that. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Um, I didn't know the kid. I'm not gonna try to sit here. I know who he was. But once we signed him, I I went ahead and looked him up and saw some um some some games of him, like his highlights. He looks. He's he top looked, notch. He what is, is he? A midfielder? He, yes, he is. He he's a guy. No, no, he's striker actually. He's. I, I saw a lot more midfield from him, like being in the midfield. He's a, he's a good guy. He, I mean, at his age, it's crazy. How old is he? Seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. And signing with Real Madrid, it's it's. it's he a, won't even. 
I see the thing. Be, he won't be able to play. He won't. He won't play for us until like another three, four years. I seen a thing uh, where he he won't even join the club till twenty twenty four. Yeah, see, because we'll we probably own him, but he's still probably playing for them, or we'll loan him out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'll be something like that. So, but yeah, no, I'm at, um, I did see that, and I got excited after I seen his. Team oh yeah. Like oh that. sorry, dude. Another link we begin to it's Joel Felix from uh, Atletico Madrid. Dude, oh, I would yeah. take that mother trucker in a heartbeat, man. Yeah, he needs to leave, bro, because he had a very good, he had an outstanding um, World Cup performance. He did really good with the actual Portugal t- the team, and the type of player you, we we were we were able to see from um, like of him in Portugal is is nothing compared to the player that we that I've seen. Because I don't want to say we you don't really watch um, La Liga that I've seen him play for Atletico. He just doesn't look the same when Dude. he when he played for uh, uh for, Benfica. Uh, Dude, Benfica. I loved him on Benfica, man. Like, Dude, he was good. I wanted Arsenal to go get him. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go get him when he before he went to Madrid. Uh, I was like to go Madrid. I want him. Please go get him. And now, like, we have actually a chance to go get. Him. Imagine having him pairing him up with Gabriel. Oh my god, y'all. Dude, crazy. I promise you, low key, bro. Like, I'm, I have, I'm getting the Saka jersey, but. If, uh, no, you're I, not getting no, jerseys, I have bro. It, bro. You Shut don't up. Have, you don't have jerseys. Shut bro. up, you don't bro. Go get jerseys. <laughs> bro. Also, how many jerseys have you said that he's gonna go get? Like, I can't like talk. Six? Shut up. You got a whole and list, bro. bro. Let me speak. Go bro. ahead. But I swear, you have God, a whole list, bro. I love. If we get, if Arsenal sign him, bro, I'm getting a jersey. <laughs> okay, okay, Jake. All right, man. But hey, La Liga comes back on the 29th, bro. No one cares about that week. League. Come on, it's not like, weak. Nah, it's one of the I'm top. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just trolling. It's a lot more competitive than the other farmers leagues. That's why it's not a former league yet. All right, yet it is on those way though, in my opinion. Think so? Yeah, dude. I mean, realistically, there's only three top clubs. Other than that, the other ones. I mean, like the Betis, uh, Villarreal, um, v- uh, Valencia. Those teams are like. <laughs> They're 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 in there competing at moments of times. But, get, but they ain't top dogs. But they but they take like a couple of games away from the top top clubs, but. It's not like it's not like prem where you guys have like like where there's like six five eight you know what I'm saying yeah facts so like until it gets to that point it's really not a crazy but it 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 it, it definitely goes definitely goes prem La Liga and then every other league behind Ligue it one. yeah City A Bundesliga and his Divas no low key dude I'll take the Bundesliga over uh League One I'm not gonna lie you got Bayern Munich Dort Dortmund, Dortmund Wolfsburg uh, RB Leipzig Lipsing, yeah. Lipsing. Uh the other one, bro. Um I can't think of it, dude. Crap, I forget the name of the club, bro. Chicharito played for him when he was in Germany. I don't know. Damn, bro. I don't want to look up him right Osberg, now. Osberg, maybe? Nah. No, Osberg's not that good. I can't remember right now, but I'll I'll, I'll we'll talk about it next week because we will we'll from hopefully from moving now, from where we're at now, now that we've hopefully upload this one. Moving forward, we will have a, a, a soccer episode out every day. And then whenever this episode gets, whatever day it is, from there on, from there moving on forward, hopefully that will be the day that we frequently upload a soccer episode. If we don't upload one, it's because scheduling didn't work out for me and Jake because we him and me are really the only ones that realistically watch soccer. And fortunately, the other guys, their schedules just don't match up as as much, even though they would love, like to be on here just to even ask us questions, stuff like that, and make the pod a little <coughs> bit more interesting. But with that being said, uh, thank you for joining this episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you guys didn't really like it, uh, let us know which, what what things you guys would like for us to, to talk about more specifically, if it's player-wise, uh, management-wise, team-wise, anything based on soccer. Um, um, and, yeah, like I said, let us know. DM us. Uh, uh, comment on the YouTube uh, channel the actual video um but like i said thank you for joining us uh thank you for clicking uh and don't forget to uh follow subscribe like comment uh, share and let us know what you think like i said um and we're oh hey i'm gonna bring it up in the other pods in the basketball and football one but we're at 232 subscribers so i'm gonna talk about it now because this is a short episode so hopefully you guys watched it all in the entirety of it But with that being said, it's been fun, it's been real, and this has been your... Go Gunners, baby! Starting five. A la Madrid. No Man City. Mm Mm-hmm.